Hey, what's going on? It's Jens. Today I want to share some tips how to prevent doing the worst mistake you can do in mushroom growing. It happened to me two times in the last six months and that's why I needed to share this information with you because yeah, the, the worst thing that happened to you is basically lose everything you grew. Before we're going to take a look at what happened, here a quick update on the king oyster mushroom I grew on liquid mycelium. It looks pretty awesome actually, also pretty weird. Some close up and then we go outside. I've grown 50 pounds of mold, and that's just because I have missed a tiny green spot on one of my jars where I grow my first generation grain spawn. And the issue is that I normally mix up my grain spawn and then inoculate more grain spawn or substrate. And after mixing everything up, the mycelium, which is totally white, and the green mold is not visible anymore. From that moment, I started to slowly break up the grain spawn to check if really everything is white. And then I mix up everything and start with inoculation. Yeah, and this is really difficult to see because when we take a closer look on the jar, it just looks perfect from the outside. It is perfectly white. But in the core, there might be some contamination. And that's why I really recommend when you have a bag or a jar, use a spoon and slice your grain spawn into pieces, break it up slowly to check if there's no contamination. Because this tiny green spot was the root to infect at the end 20 bags. Even though the green mold won't be visible in other clean areas inside the jar, it might have spread with spores. And that is the end for all bags, which are then inoculated with this infected jar. I really hope that you think that this information was helpful and that you don't grow any mold anymore. Stay healthy and hopefully see you on the next.